Thanks for logging on to neoweather.com on this Friday, August 16th, 2013. I'm Jim Sullivan with your video forecast. As of 1040 in the morning, just some mid and high level clouds streaming across northern Ohio. We'll see that trend continue through the day. Temperatures rising into the upper 60s to even near 70. Looking at the entire country now, as has been the trend quite a bit recently, much of the country is cool and relatively quiet. The only exception being in the southwest where it is pretty hot and along the Gulf Coast and into the southeast where a stalled out frontal boundary is going to continue bringing showers and storms over the next couple of days. Elsewhere, it's going to remain fairly quiet. Coming back to Cleveland and looking at the numbers yesterday, we did 74 and 51, well below normal again. Yesterday morning was awfully chilly. Mansfield set a record low of 46. Worcester hit 43. Possum Run Road hit 39. So some of the really chillier locations really did get down there yesterday morning for mid-August. Today will be a little bit better as we set the sun at 825 tonight. Looking at that atmospheric setup for today, you can see lots of high pressure across the eastern U.S. There's that stalled frontal boundary along the Gulf Coast, and you can see that kind of dashed line heading towards the Ohio Valley. This weekend, some moisture may eventually try and work its way up along that dashed line. However, today and probably not tomorrow or even into Sunday, I don't expect any rain. So that all leaves a good looking Friday forecast, just enough clouds to filter the sunshine, not enough to completely block it, hides in the upper 70s. Tonight, partly cloudy, upper 50s to near 60 for lows. Now, in the Gulf of Mexico, just off the northwestern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula, we do have a bit of a tropical disturbance. You can see that nice tight swirl just moving off the Yucatan Peninsula right now. However, that swirl is relatively void of thunderstorms so right now tropical development isn't imminent that could change this weekend if thunderstorms can develop near that swirl right now i'm not expecting any real robust development but this could enhance rain over texas over the next several days now where does this affect us you see all these clouds streaming to the northeast away from that swirl there's a lot of tropical moisture getting thrown towards the southeastern U.S., and that may affect us. I'll show you why in just a second. We're going to have a trough over the central and eastern U.S. this week and into early next week, and the southerly flow on the eastern side of that may throw some of that tropical moisture our way by Sunday and Monday and enhance rain chances. Now, as we head deeper into next week, the trough over the eastern U.S., look at that. It finally goes away, and we finally warm up. We may see a return to summer-like values in the temperature department soon. So on your seven-day forecast this weekend, we slowly warm up a little bit. We do slowly increase the clouds as well. By Sunday night or Monday, those clouds could drop some showers or storms. As we head towards Tuesday, Wednesday, we dry back out, continue warming back up. Thursday, just a small chance for storms once again. So if you're one of the kids who's lucky enough to have next week off still, hopefully you'll have one more week of summer-like weather to enjoy before school starts. Again, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for logging on. Check us out again tomorrow.